Hello viewers, we'll be going over Gold Miners Jr. ETF ticker symbol GDXJ. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, how we find the models, and the forecast model for Gold Miners Jr. So back to the technical analysis. Today we are up close to 8% up on the one hour chart. We are currently touching overbought RSI on the four hour chart. We were at oversold RSI last week and we made a very nice reversal due to the news that the Fed is cutting rates 50 basis points. So I do see gold climbing higher and momentarily. And we do see a possible resistance, the nine day moving average, this blue line and 18 day moving average, this purple line could possibly act as our immediate resistance. So I'll mark that as our first resistance and that is around a price of $41.50. And as for support, we did make some support, but we were below it. And we want to average above the 200 day moving average, ideally to have the uptrend intact. So at the moment, I'll mark that 200 day moving average as our support if we do manage to reverse down lower and if we do make a reversal and head to 200 day moving average support that price movement is roughly around 8% to the downside and to the upside the resistance is just 1.2% away so let's head to the day by day probability model as the days progress to the seventh day so we have seventh day, we have a 67% chance for gold miners to climb higher between 0 and 3%. And on the other hand, we have a 33% chance for gold miners to fall between 0 and 3%. So we have those models there. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So let's go day by day where gold miners We'll head to the next coming days so we have one day out two days out three days out four days out five days out six days out and seven days out which one of these models we should focus on ideally the model that is the best match to the current trend right here we have the current trend and below is the trend that i believe is the best match this trend dates back to february 14 2011 to may 11 2011 so let me point out why these two charts are similar so what we have here, we start off at the middle Bollinger Band and we proceeded to average above the middle Bollinger Band and then we touch the upper Bollinger Band here right near the very end and then we reverse, touch the bottom Bollinger Band. Let's just make this red and we are currently close to reverting to the mean at the middle Bollinger Band. So let's just make this blue. So we have those points there. In the trend in question, we start off at the middle Bollinger Band. And then let's just mark all the instances where we're approaching the middle Bollinger Band. So we have another one right at the very end. Next, we see it touch the upper Bollinger Band and after touching the upper Bollinger Band, we were averaging down below the middle Bollinger Band and touched the bottom Bollinger Band. So what we have is one, two, three, four points. We also have one, two, three, four points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was February 14, 2011 to May 11, 2011. Back then, gold miners continued to climb. They climbed up to 84 basis points. So if we look back at the day-by-day -day probability model, it coincides with this standard deviation of 67% chance for gold miners to climb higher in the next coming days. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.